2690 pounds one owner locally owned and traded virtually new new camp 400 teardrop coming in here at haylet rv of coldwater michigan this is a rarity people do not typically buy these and swap out of them this quickly someone's going to gobble this up and save thousands off the brand new price tag because this little guy despite its small size these are very expensive premium grade sort of little trailers that are built completely different from anything you find in the conventional RV market. And if I was going to start describing this RV in a grossly oversimplified fashion, I would begin by saying this. Take everything you know about conventional RVs and just throw it all away. This is not that. This is completely different. Every ounce of this is completely different. Uh, up here we've got our large uh, like Max Air style fan to get that excellent, excellent airflow. Uh, so if you are off grid and you just want to open up all these windows and get some intense airflow, you can do that. And I love, I mean, every little thing, like if you want to open the main door, you've got a full sliding screen. You can screen this whole thing off. You've got also got this cool little peak hole right here. And uh, these are all European style windows. We'll talk more of those outside. They're very, almost like aircraft style windows on, on some of the radius windows right there. But like even down to the flooring, the flooring is different here. This is actually like a woven sort of flooring material. And this stuff, I've seen tests done on this stuff. I've literally seen people put spray paint on it. And then basically you could scrub it off. I mean, it is heavy duty, long lasting kind of stuff. The dining area up here, it's a, a weird sort of like one and a half Jack and Jill style bench, but it gets the job done because this is primarily a couple's camper, although it can fold down into a little guest sleeper. There's a conversion cushion we'll see when we look at the main bed in the back. And then every little thing that they could, every little thing has like a pocket, a shelf, a nook, a cranny, an accent light. Everything has something done to it. Uh, let me flip us back around here over toward the kitchen. And this is very, very common in like what you'd find in a, uh, a more upper echelon sort of class B plus style motorhome. Like you see the, uh, like the, the micro laminated plywood doors on this. And you can see how everything is made with that ridiculously um, over uh, strength material. Like it's, it's, it's way overbuilt for the small size of this camper. But the idea here is longevity and peace of mind. You know, you can see that how the hinges hold the door open so you don't have to juggle it. I mean, just all kinds of stuff. Now the uh, countertop here between the stove and the sink folding down, it gives us plenty of prep space. And then they use almost like an aircraft style kind of latch system here so that Every square inch and every nook and cranny of anything and everything we're looking at, you can see has more of that high grade uh, micro laminated wood in it. And uh, everything is like a cabinet door or a drawer or a shelving or something. Every square inch of every nook and cranny was utilized here. And you can see how, the, I mean, all the original manuals and everything, everything is all present and accounted for here. We have a small refrigerator, but it's not exactly a large RV. And in case you're wondering, no, that's not a diaper. That's just a wad of paper towels to keep moisture from building up and molding in there. So these folks were even on top of their preventative care and upkeep. And even down here, again, drawers, just nothing wasted here. Our TV can pivot out for living area, kitchen area, technically maybe even bathroom area viewing, although the door opens the wrong way in the bathroom to do that. But then you've got a sectionalized kind of uh, bed area back here so that um, you can really kind of customize this to your own little wants, needs, preferences. But it's not just the mattress that you're sleeping on. You've got an enhanced bedding system here to keep you comfortable in this little camper. And again, we've got that little conversion, um, what am I want to say, cushion for the front dining area there. Now, just like we saw elsewhere, you've got multiple forms of different lights, whether it's a reading light or you want to kick it on for like full on bright mode. And over here, you've also got a cool little sort of like side uh, stand pocket with household and USB plugs. Keep your phones charged up. And our entertainment system is kind of tucked around the corner here. It's easy to get to, but it's out of the way. So you're not going to accidentally bump it or anything like that. It's Bluetooth, it's DVD, and a Jensen system like that is app ready. So you can literally get an app on your phone to be able to control that thing uh, wirelessly right from your phone and not have to walk around with remote control. Over here, it's easy to miss, but there's a big pocket of storage right there. And this is probably going to be your primary pantry and clothing space, but they give you easy access to your system. So if you got to get to the water pump, you got a winterizer, whatever, that is all right here where it's easy to get to. Handle locks out of the way so it's not going to catch your shirt and rip your shirt as you walk by. And then the bathroom is, again, compact. 
but very effective what they did here. Um, the uh, type of wood they're using, you know, it's it's okay if this stuff gets a little wet. It's a true sealed, like treated marine grade kind of micro laminated plywood, and you can keep all your toiletries and stuff up there. And this thing right here, if you're not familiar with it, this is a folding sink. So you have a real sink when you need it that's gone when you don't. Now, uh, this is technically a wet bath, but they gave you plenty of separate shower and toilet space. And then, of course, you have your little privacy window there. But this right here, this is going to uh, go around and cover all of this. So, again, it's okay if this gets a little wet, a little steamy. That's why we have this fan right here, because it's never going to get direct water exposure. It's not a real big darn deal like it would be in a lot of other campers. Now that different trend really continues outside. Obviously you can tell it's different just by looking at it, but the, one of the things that they do here is they use Asdell pretty much all over the body, the shell construction of this RV. It's not a Luan constructed camper. It's obviously narrow body, the small size, the stature, the narrow body, the Asdell, the all aluminum uh, welded skeleton, this, uh, the uh, Huck bolted aircraft style lightweight chassis. All of these things are upgrade upper end upper echelon features that are designed for lightweight and longevity and instead of having one or two of them this rv has all of the things designed to make something long lasting and lightweight you can see the very different european style windows here those are actually uh effectively like a dual pane and it's very easy to be able to see that if i get right up here and i like i pinch it you might be able to see, I don't know how well the shadows are reflecting, but you can see how my fingers aren't even close to touching one another. There's plenty of gap in there. So there's a nice little air barrier inside of there. Also, you may have noticed inside, but we've got those uh, you know, shades that you can pull down too. So if you want a screen to keep the critters out, you can. If you just want to open it right out and get all that airflow, you can do that too. Handy front little, I don't know, protective organizer trunk on here. Oops, there we go. I locked myself out. For your propane tank, you can see this is where your battery would go. Your spare tire is also tongue mounted, which is something that we see in our Coachman Ultralights here at Halid RV. That helps keep uh, load balance and load equalization in order there. The uh, RV does have an outside shower just in front of that wheel well, and you might have noticed in the front how it has those handles for campsite adjustments. This thing is small enough and low profile enough, you could very easily park this uh, like in your garage and then hand push it in place if need be now um, It's not as obvious just walk around the inside of the camper. You're like wait a minute uh, Where's the air conditioner dude? Well, it's got a combination air uh, Conditioner and heat pump kind of thing sort of like you find on our Rockwood a-frames and if you don't know what that means Here's the easiest way I can describe it. You know what a residential air conditioner is that goes inside a window, right? Well, basically this has one of those but you can direct the heating or cooling effect Either way, it's a bi-directional heat pump. Now, a little camper like this, they still put the little stabilizer jacks on the back, and I think that's really important here, because these are balanced really well, but they want to make sure that like, if you uh, unhook from your vehicle and lay down in the back of it, that you're not going to pop a wheelie on this sucker, because obviously that's not a good day at the office for anybody. The tires look fantastic. Everything looks fantastic. Like The windows aren't scratched up. I don't, I just don't see anything that concerns me on this thing. This is a very upscale upper echelon premium grade trailer that just happens to be very very small and it is about as rare as hen's teeth that we find one in the used rv market in this kind of late model just near flawless condition so like i said if what you're looking for is a, is the last trailer you ever want to own that you could potentially hand down to your kids well congratulations i think you just found it here and you found it for tens of thousands of dollars less probably compared to brand new so Give us a call. Hitching pieces, parts, streets, finance, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery, and everything between. We only do it all at Halid RV. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.